We recording? Oh uh, yes, we are, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? Ah, ooh, ooh, gotta pull that out. Ooh, almost followed a review. Um, <laughs> already off to a good start. All right. Ooh, but we're back with another review. So Ryan is back with another review. Now today we are reviewing the Lego Ninjago Legacy, the Ultra Dragon set. Now this is a a remake. This is uh, another one. There were like I think there were like two before this. Um, but we're reviewing this one because it's the one that I have. I want a review. Well, actually, I don't have it. My friend does, and I've used it, so I can get the review out very well. Um, so let's go ahead and start off with the basic overview. So in this set, we get Lord Garmadon, Pythor, oh my gosh. I'll say Garmadon's one of my favorite, but Pythor is just one of my all-time favorite characters. He's just, he's funny. Um, Lloyd as the Green Ninja. You get the two Fang or not Fang Pyre, two Venomari Snakes, and Wu, which is pretty cool. And then the set itself, which includes the dragon, which I must say, the new take on the dragon is amazing. I absolutely love it. It still kind of stays true to the original, but I just love this. I'm sorry. It is beautiful. It is just beautiful. But that's part of the pros, and I'm spoiling the pros. My bad. And then this little thing that shoots two little green uh, shooty missile thingamabobs at the good guys, probably, because there's purple snakes all over it. But yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump into this with the pros and cons. Let's bring up the pros. As I've already mentioned, this is a beautiful set. It is extremely well done. The attention to detail, the coloring, it is just amazing. Absolutely just mind blowing. When I first saw this set, I was like, Oh my gosh! This is amazing. It's just it's the detail is absolutely amazing. It is a beautiful set. I just, I love this so much. Um, also, if you're trying to store it, the wings kind of, like, go down, and I think they flip up, and the wing and the tail can also kind of curl in, so it's, it's pretty simple to store it, to store. Also, you can kind of see it, there's a little carry handle here, let's see if it shows a little bit more, um, back here maybe, uh, does it show back here? Yep, right here, so that's one and two. So there's a little carry handle when you're, like, just trying to make it fly, it's, then you don't have to like kind of hold it from the bottom or the top. You well, you are holding it from the top, but you're using you're using the carry handle, so it's it's really cool. I like it a lot. And as you can see, featured in season one and stuff, and season two actually, season two. And I don't know if the Ultra Dragon ever shows up again after that. I think it does. I don't know. I haven't watched Lego and Jack in a while. Um, but then also like with the the, the detail on the dragon itself, like, Days has got the lightning, Cole has got, like, the earth sort of stuff, Zane's got the ice going out, Kai's got the fire and stuff, the dragons all have the little bits, and it's, it's just very detailed, I like it a lot. Um, also, one of the first, one of the few times I say this, the price is actually pretty good. For an almost 1,000 piece set with this much detail and the amount of characters that you get, price is good. It's a, oh, I don't know what that is. Um, the price is very, very good. Like, oh my god, good. It is perfect. $69.99, I think, is a good price. So $70. So this comes in about $70, which I think is really, really good. Um, hold on. I gotta go do something. For you guys, it'll be nothing. For me, it'll be, like, two minutes. Oh, I'm back. I don't think that'll be even <coughs> a minute. Um, <clears throat> But no, the price I think is very good. I think seventy dollars is a fine price because you it's almost a thousand pieces. It's a good size and you get a fair amount of characters, which another pro. The amount of characters you get. I think it's a good amount. You get Lord Garmadon, which is just awesome. Um, you get two of the Venomari uh snakes, and you get Pythor, and then you get Lloyd and Wu, which is just awesome. And you get this little turret thing, which I, I just I like that a lot. Um so the pros, moving on to the cons. Really? No cons at all. Price is good, the detail is amazing, you get a wide selection of characters, it's got the carry handle, which is a huge plus, and it's, it clocks in at 951 pieces, which is almost a thousand, so it's, you're really getting a bargain here. Um, so yeah, and the performance, it performs very well, that carry handle, absolutely amazing, makes it so much easier to carry around and stuff. Um, so yeah, it performs great. It performs probably as you'd expect. So, well, my rating is 5 out of 5. Amazon has it as 4.9 out of 5, so I'm above them, which doesn't happen that often. Happens more with Lego sets, I'd say. Um, but no, yeah, alright. Oh, so also, I wanted to ask you guys something. So I'm kind of thinking about steering away 
from the Nerf gun videos. Comment down below if you'd like that. I think I'm going to do one, like, once a week, but I'm trying to mostly do, like, Lego sets, kind of, um, maybe some, like, TV shows. I'm actually working on some Lego Ninjago TV show stuff right now. Um, so yeah, let me know if you, if you want to see, like, less Nerf gun videos, because I can still do one, like, once a week, but that's probably going to be it. Um, so yeah. Um, but please click like and subscribe, and share this with your friends and family if you like it. Alright, thank you so much for watching, have a great day. This is Ryan, signing off. See you, ladies and gentlemen.